Welcome, sciatica versus low back pain. Can lower back pain cause sciatica and can sciatica cause lower back pain? Generally, the second one's not true. Sciatica doesn't usually cause low back pain. Low back pain causes sciatica. Sciatica is inflammation of the sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve is the largest, fattest nerve of the body, the size of my thumb and your thumb. That nerve stems from the lower back, goes under the buttocks, down the back of the leg. It affects, uh, when I say the back of the leg, back of the thigh, when it gets to the knee, it then branches out to the rest of the leg, including the foot and the toes. Sciatica does not affect the front of the thigh. So if you're having any burning, tingling into that front of the thigh, it's not sciatica, usually femoral uh, involved uh, origin, where it's coming up a little higher uh, in the lumbar spine. The sciatic nerve generally comes from the L4, S1, S2, S3, five uh, nerve roots. And as you can see, the sciatic nerve uh, comes from that lower back, from these nerve roots, makes up that one area right here, and it goes down that back of the thigh. Once it gets to the knee, it branches out to the rest of the leg, into the foot, and the toes. Remember that these nerves here do supply other organs, but for our sake, I just want to talk about sciatica to let you know that you can have no pain in the lower back and have burning in the leg, tingling in the leg, even weakness or tiredness in the leg. So I don't want you to contribute your symptom I don't want you to always think that because uh, if you're having uh, pain in your leg, where is it coming from? Most of the time it does come from your lower back. It can be hidden to symptoms. You could have no pain. You could have perfect range of motion in the lower back and have irritation on that sciatic nerve. There are many things that can cause it. The, 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 actually the disc in itself coming from that lower back when there's pressure on that nerve root, as you can see that. It can come from a piriformis where it comes underneath the piriformis muscle. It can come from a shifting of the pelvic. It can come from anywhere that nerve makes its way through that can cause compression or irritation from uh, poor kinetics, particularly in the, the, the open or closed kinetic chain. But most important, I want you to understand the difference a little bit about it. If you have questions, leave your comments below. Share this video with others. I ask you to subscribe so you can continue to receive the best of the self-help videos here on the internet. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.